Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to paint your walls in Photoshop. Hey guys, it's Connor here from Quick Edits. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to change the color of your walls in Photoshop using the pen tool and hue and saturation. The process doesn't take too long. There's not many steps. I'll talk you through it as always. Uh, let's start right now. This is the image I've chosen. I've got two sections of walls here that we're gonna be changing. Uh, this one on top and this one just underneath the sta staircase here. Now probably the only reason you actually want to do this is because you're planning of maybe refurbishing your house, uh, putting a splash of colour on the walls and you're not really certain on which one to go for here. So using Photoshop to put the colours in first uh, is probably a good idea. Okay, so let's make a start. Uh, using my image here, I'm just going to unlock the layer. Let's make sure we can use it. And the first thing we want to be able to do is just isolate the parts of the walls that we want to change the colour of. Uh, we're going to use uh, the pen tool to do this. Using the pen tool is probably the best bet for this one, uh, only because we want to try and get this as detailed as possible, up, up close to the uh, to the sides of the wall here, up up along the skirting boards, and uh, also as well on this top part. Uh, we may be using the um, one one tool to get in, inside these parts here, but we'll use the pen tool for the for the rest of it. Okay, so let's make a start. I'm gonna press P on my keyboard to get my pen tool. So over this this icon here on your left on your toolbar, and I'm gonna select path. I'm gonna make sure we set on path. And we're just going to start isolating the walls on where we want to add our paint. So we're just going to keep adding in our points. Oh, too far. So I just want this section of the wall up here, across here. Um, I'll probably do this part as well. So I'm going to follow the lines. Right now it's nice and simple, nice straight lines. Come along. We're going to leave this as white along the skirting board. And I'm just holding the space bar on my keyboard just to move across the image here. It allows me to move a little bit faster. And I'll click down there. And I'm gonna close our path here, our selection, just by clicking on our original point. And that's gonna give us this little circle icon. And we're gonna leave that there. Great stuff. And to make the selection, I'm just gonna right click. And I'm gonna go to make selection. I'm gonna give my selection a 0.5 pixel further. Uh, just because I may have gone a little bit too quick with the pen tool and I just want to make sure uh, we have some leeway with the colour. So set it at 0.5 and press OK. That's going to give us our selection and this is pretty much perfect. This is exactly what we needed. And now to add our hue and saturation, we're going to go up to layer, down to new adjustment layer and we're going to ha add on our hue and saturation there. And this is our new layer, press OK. And this now has made our mask. You can see here, I'm just pressing uh, option and clicking on the mask. Uh, it's isolated this part of the wall. This uh, Anything in white is what we're going to see. Anything in black is completely invisible to the mask. So let's change here. And we're going to double click on the icon for the hue and saturation. And that's going to give us our sliders up here. Now, if I just move this top slider, and it's going to, you can see it's starting to change the color, but it's, it's going to cause this pretty strange uh, gradient effect where it's not really changing yeah, that all the color of the wall there. Uh, that's because the wall isn't lit uh, quite evenly in the photos. So to get around that, I'm gonna press this button down here and that's to colorize the image. So that's gonna give a, a complete overlay of uh, color on top of the image there. But it's still gonna keep us with this uh, this light in on here. So we can just change this now and you can see how this is working. We can change it to any color uh, that we wanted. So I suppose this is the part where you choose what color paint you want. So let's go maybe a, maybe a nice teal, that's quite nice. Cool, and uh, you can see it's quite realistic. It's kept all the shadows down here and we got some highlight spots on the front of it as well. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Okay, next let's uh, focus on this back wall up here, this top wall. So again, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. We're gonna be using our pen tool, just zooming in a little bit. And we're gonna just start cutting out our wall here. I am just gonna do this as quick as possible. Let's try and get this curve right. Great, and I'm just holding option to move my uh, anchor point. I'm hoping you already know how to use the pen tool, so this should come quite easy for you. And you can see I'm just going around the banister for now because we're going to get these uh, isolated separately. So we're just going to keep going up along the top, back down on this side. Just going to bring it to there and make our way back to our original point just there. Let's zoom out. That's great. And we're going to right click again. And I'm going to click make selection. 
I'm going to leave my feather to 0.5 once again, press OK, and that's going to give me my selection. That's looking pretty good. So uh, again, we want a new mask this time with a new uh, hue and saturation uh, layer. So let's go up to layer again. Let's add on a new adjustment layer, and we're going to click hue and saturation. This is our layer, press OK, and that's going to give us our properties here for hue and saturation. But as you can see, uh, we've only got this section here on our mask, so we need to get these ones as well. So I'm just going to zoom in, in between the bandages now, I'm going to press W for my one tool, there's this icon up here, and I'm just going to see, I've got my tolerance at 34, that might be a little bit too high, uh, that's doing a pretty good job. So now I've selected uh, this part here, I'm just going to hold shift and select the others as well. And once we've got this, we're going to add it to our mask here. And once we clicked on it, I'm just going to get a brush. And I'm going to make sure we're set to white. Uh, give myself a decent sized brush. And I'm just going to add this into it. You're not going to be able to see it, but hopefully when you click here, that's going to give us our selection there. And that's looking great. We can now deselect and then show our image. And then this is where we can change the color again. So we're going to click back on our hue and saturation. And we're going to try and get that same color. Oh, again, make sure you clicked on colorize. And that's going to do a great job to start adding pink to our walls. Let's try and get a similar color as we had at the bottom. Maybe a different shade. Maybe a darker shade. And that's looking pretty good there. I really like that. Now, if you are doing this technique just to give yourself a visualization of what your paint will look like on your walls, then I suppose this will do uh, pretty good for you. But uh, just in case you are working on a higher end project you just want to do this little clean up here we missed these edges here so uh, maybe to do that I'm going to go back to the pen tool and I'm just going to make this shape just over the whole thing and hopefully our hue and saturation won't affect the, the bars in between so once again I'm just going to make that selection okay click back on our mask grab our white brush and just paint that over and you can see there now that's done that, and that's added into our paint on our walls, looking great. And there we go guys, a uh, nice quick easy way to change the colours of your walls in Photoshop using hue and saturation and just a couple of masks. Again you don't have to just use it on walls and anything around your house, you can pretty much use it on anything you want. Uh, objects, scenery, it'll all work with hue and saturation, especially when you cut it out perfectly with uh, the pen tool. As always guys, thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. Uh, just last week, Jake asked me about this video. He asked, please could you do a video on changing wall colors in the house before I paint? So there we go, Jake. I hope this video helped you too. Please drop a like, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.